Good afternoon, happy Friday. I just got out of the shower, clearly. I spent the whole morning getting a bunch of work done, editing, responding to emails. I still have a little bit more to do, and I don't know, I'm trying to decide what I wanna to do today because my friend has been talking about coloring her hair for so long now. Last week, I bought the color and all the stuff that we need to do it, but we just both were really busy and never got around to it. And then I told her I would do it today, but honestly, I just don't feel up to it. I was gonna do it at her house, so I'm about to text her and see if we can reschedule. Oof. I just, I don't know. I know it's not like a huge deal, but I just hate when I tell someone I'm going to do something. I hate to back out last minute. Don't hate me, but okay. I asked if we could do it Sunday or Monday instead. I've just been working a lot. If you guys saw my last vlog, I am starting to do hair again at the salon, only on Saturdays, but during the week, Tuesday through Thursday and some Fridays, which today, this Friday, I didn't have to work, luckily, but I did work last Friday. I work there answering the front desk and doing like manager type stuff. It's been good. Like I know I talk all the time <laughs> about like how busy I've been and like how tired I've been. And I know it sounds like I'm complaining and I kind of am, but honestly, like my mental health has never been better. I am the type of person that I have to stay busy and I might bitch about it and be tired, but I just, I need it for my sanity. Like if I don't stay busy, my anxiety and depression just get out of control. But yeah, I was working all week and then today I was trying to get caught up on my YouTube, social media stuff. I have some sponsored content that is due for approvals. So I need to get that done. And also I just need at least one day a week where I just stay home and don't leave the apartment for anything. And I haven't had that this whole week. And this weekend I have stuff going on. So today is kind of my only day to just stay home. So I just, I want to take advantage of that. But I am about to do this Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay because my skin's getting a little bit better for a while there. I was getting breakouts, but it seems like now we are on the mend. Hopefully it'll stay this way. I feel like in general, I've just been feeling like kind of blah and not that great. Like my confidence just hasn't been at its highest. And I've also just been feeling so blah with my hair. And I was like trying to grow it out for so long. I feel like my hair, like this is all the hair that I have on my head. Like it's not the thickest. And you know, the longer it is, the thinner it's gonna feel. And I get it cut blunt on the ends. I do all of the tricks to make it seem as full as possible, but I'm just like, I don't know if I'm feeling long hair. Part of me really wants to cut it like above my shoulders, like chin length almost, but I feel like that's too extreme. So I'm kind of thinking like, I'm just cutting it to where my shortest layer is right here so like a couple inches below collarbone and just cutting it all to one length and just have it be super blunt i don't know what to do i don't know we'll see maybe by the end of this vlog i will have shorter hair i'm gonna wash off this face mask in a few minutes and i texted my friend we're not gonna do her hair today she's okay with doing it either sunday or monday i still feel bad but you can't overextend yourself and as much as i love to do favors for people you gotta prioritize yourself and put yourself first and if you don't feel up to doing something or you have other things that need to get done first that's okay because i am such a people pleaser naturally i'm sure a lot of you can relate so it's hard for me to say no i'm working on that i'm stephanie harlow and i'm Derek lavasser did adnan find out through krista 
that you, that you you would pose that to us. As Good morning. It's the next day. I just got ready for work. I am doing hair today. Normally in most salons, Saturdays are like the busiest days, but at this salon, they have weddings pretty much every Saturday, and they usually do the wedding hair and makeup at the venue. So the hair room in the salon is usually completely empty, which is nice. So I have the whole place to myself, which is wonderful. And I get to just make my schedule how I want, take clients when I want. So yeah, I started doing that last Saturday, but I just had like haircuts and single processes, basic stuff. Today I actually have two highlight clients. So I'm excited. I'm a little nervous because I haven't done any highlights at the salon yet. So actually I should probably hurry up so I can get there a little bit early so that way I have time to set up and like get my foil situated. And then I think the plan is I'm meeting up with my friend and we're gonna go check out this new bar that I think is supposed to have live music and like food trucks and stuff like that. So looking forward to that. Let me show you what I'm wearing. I cannot get enough of these like oversized button up shirts. So this is from H&M and then underneath I'm wearing a like one piece bodysuit kind of thing from Amazon, which is so comfy and it's so great because I don't have to wear anything underneath it. And then these slide on sneakers I just got from H&M and I'm really hoping I don't get them dirty. <laughs> I know I will, like it's inevitable, but I'm gonna try to not get any color or anything on them today and yesterday i know i was talking about wanting to cut my hair and then i styled it this morning and now i'm like mm, no not ready not ready to cut it i'm sure i will eventually but i am still enjoying the long hair it really it just comes down to whether it's styled or not we're leaving it long for now but i layered these two necklaces both are from Ana Luisa. These earrings that I've shown you before are also Ana Luisa. These studs are as well. And they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I absolutely love them. I have been working with them for years now. Most of my jewelry is from them. If you see me wearing anything, nine out of 10 times, it's from Ana Luisa. They make high quality gold plated jewelry. They also have some silver pieces now as well. They've been like gradually adding more and more silver. Personally, I'm a gold jewelry kind of gal, but their pieces start at $39, which is great. So it's super affordable. And let me tell you, I recently got a pair of earrings from Etsy that were within the same price range as Ana Luisa jewelry, literally only wore them maybe four or five times, and they started to stain my ears. And I wasn't even leaving them in, in the shower or sleeping with them. I literally would just put them in for a few hours in the day and then take them out at night, and they were turning my earlobes like black. Meanwhile, my Ana Luisa jewelry, I never take off. Obviously, if you want the jewelry to last as long as possible, don't get it wet. But personally, I, I like to put my jewelry on, especially like my little dainty staple pieces, my earrings, my bracelets, some of my necklaces sometimes. I just, uh, I can't be like taking them off every single night and putting it back. Like I just like to be able to leave it, shower with it, and not have to worry that it's going to tarnish or stain my skin. And let me tell you, I haven't had to throw out a single piece of Ana Luisa jewelry, and I have some pieces that I've owned now for over two years. Their stuff is really, really good. So if you are looking for gold jewelry that's not gonna be crazy expensive and that is not going to tarnish and that you can wear in the shower and just leave on, Ana Luisa is where it's at, I'm telling you. They are also a sustainable company. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions. Shopping sustainably can be tricky and it's like, we all are trying to be a little bit more conscious with our spending and the companies that we support, but sustainable clothes and accessories can be really expensive and it's not always attainable for everyone. But that's also why I love Ana Luisa. I think their prices are 
absolutely reasonable and they're always doing sales too which is great and i also have a discount code so i will have all that information in the description go check it out get yourself some jewelry or it makes really great gifts if you are trying to get ahead on your christmas shopping that is my outfit for the day i need to head out of here so that i can get to the salon a little bit early my first client is at 10 o'clock i like to get there at least like 15 20 minutes beforehand so that i can just be set up and prepared gonna have a good day i will see you later first client just gets a full head of highlights I thought her hair actually still looked really good but she just wanted to bring everything up a little bit and kind of brighten it up as you can see underneath I noticed she had a lot of darkness one thing that I always make sure to ask all of my blonding highlighting clients is do you wear your hair up often? And if so, do you like to see the highlights all the way around your hairline, even in the back? I think a lot of stylists forget and they will just kind of leave underneath because they think, oh, no one's gonna really see that. But if they're wearing their hair up in a ponytail, you're going to see that. So she was like, oh yes, I definitely wanna brighten up underneath. So I focused most of my highlights on the bottom part of her hair and yeah I just did a full head of highlights I can't remember what I did for my toner I want to say it was maybe 9n and 9g because she said she does like her color to be a little bit on the warmer side and this was her final hair and I also added a lot of layers and she wanted to do curtain bangs to just you know add some volume and some shape to her hair because her hair is thick and it was just feeling like really heavy and then my second client was also looking for a refresh you could see her color was pretty grown out she still liked it to be really rooted and low maintenance like a nice soft blended grow out but it was just a little too grown out so I just did a bunch of teasy lights to bring the highlights up higher and I don't know if you can see in this clip here where she's processing but I did also paint over her ends just to brighten those up a little bit because she did say she wanted to be a little bit brighter and I toned with 8GI from Rick and Jade ZQ and this is her finished hair. Uh, it's many hours later. My shoulders are feeling it. But if you guys saw my last vlog after the first day that I was doing hair, I was like dead. I feel way better today and I actually worked longer I think today so that's good I figured this would happen like you know as I am getting back into it you know my body will get used to it again but yeah it's just like my upper back and shoulders that just feel really sore so I just kind of need to stretch but it went really well they were both super super nice they both had beautiful hair but I'm glad to be home now. I'm like so freaking greasy looking and my hair is just like a frizzy mess. I'm gonna eat some lunch and just relax. I texted my friend, I'm waiting to hear back from her about if we're still gonna hang out later today. I want to, it's really, really nice out. So I would like to go out and do something, but also, I wouldn't really be mad if I just ended up staying home. You know, like this couch is feeling real comfortable right about now. So I am going out with my friend and it's cooled down quite a bit outside. So I changed into some warmer clothes. I got this shirt a few days ago from H&M and I have been so excited to wear it. I really wanted to wear it today, but I didn't want to wear it to the salon and risk getting bleach on it. But I don't know. Maybe it's just like this lighting right now. It is giving me pajama vibes, <laughs> like silky pajamas. I don't know. I think I might actually change this shirt because I'm not loving the buttons with the buttons. I think I'm just going to do like a plain, like my plain square neck bodysuit. Yeah, let me, let me change. Please hold. Okay, I feel like this is better. Silky shirt, H&M, square neck strappy bodysuit misguided these jeans are from target these shoes are also h&m they're so comfy they're like really padded and the heel is a good height and 
Yeah. And she just texted me that she is here to pick me up. I'll see you later. Happy birthday. Are you two years old today? Are you two years old? Is it your birthday? <laughs> such a big boy. He's such a big boy. My little baby is two years old today. Yesterday was an amazing day. I stayed home all day. I cleaned, I deep cleaned my entire apartment. I shampooed all of the carpet. And I was on the phone with my friend and then with my mom as I was cleaning. And I hadn't talked to either of them in a while, so I was just getting all caught up. Ordered sushi from Uber Eats for dinner, so I didn't even have to cook or like leave at all. It was just a really, really good day. And then I started reading Verity. Finally, people have been talking about this damn book for months and months. I've been dying to read it because everyone's been hyping it up so much. So I started it last night and I literally finished it this morning. Like I flew through it. It's like such an easy book to get through because it definitely, I mean, it's a good book. Like it's definitely a page turner, but also like, I mean, look how big the print is, you know? So it's not a super long book or anything, so very quick easy read and it was good <laughs> i feel like it was so overhyped i don't know the whole thing was very predictable and then she throws in that random twist at the very very end like the last few pages but the it just felt like i don't it just it wasn't like <laughs> realistic or believable and I, I don't mean to shit on it by any means like and i've not i haven't read any of colleen hoover's other books i know she's like a new york times best-selling author and like people love her work so no disrespect or hate to her at all had the book not been so overhyped and if i had just like randomly picked it off the bookshelf and read it i probably would have liked it more i think i think i just had like very high expectations and then when i I don't know I'm just kind of like but if you agree with me like if you feel the same way comment down below and let me know because I've heard nothing but amazing things about it so I don't know if I'm like am I just an asshole maybe I don't know anyway it's Monday I am finally going to do my friend's hair and then I have a meeting at the salon I think it's just supposed to be like an hour-long meeting just going over like holiday stuff like holiday hours and specials we're gonna be running and all of that kind of stuff that's all that i have planned for today i wanted to do something special for benny for his birthday which i know like he doesn't know the difference like he gets treated so well all the time anyway and he doesn't know that it's his birthday like he doesn't understand you know so it really would have just been for me. But I am gonna make some coffee and some breakfast. I got all caught up on everything that I needed to do yesterday. So today I can kind of just chill until it's time to go do my friend's hair. So we love that. <sighs> it's a few hours later. I ended up watching Don't Worry Darling because it just got released on HBO Max today and i had heard like some mixed things and the reviews weren't the greatest but i actually liked the movie way more than i expected to yeah i see what like some people were kind of complaining about but overall i thought it was good and it was like somewhat predictable but not completely like you you have a general idea of what's going on but like the actual specifics of the twist I didn't expect but I had ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon that I just needed for around the apartment and everything finally arrived so I figured I'd show you what I got I mean it's not too exciting so I've been trying to expand what I have in the kitchen my kitchen is like 
definitely on the small side so i try to not have like too much stuff that it gets like cluttered but i felt like i was definitely in need of some more cooking utensils because i only had one set that i had bought a couple years ago and they were super cheap and they're starting to kind of fall apart and plus they're silicone so i wanted to get some bamboo cooking utensils and then i also got some new oven mitts i love excuse me you just want to see what this is i love oven mitts with silicone on the outside then i got some face toner i love this stuff i've been using this for a few years now from the cosrx brand cosrx i don't know how to say it um it's the aha bha clarifying toner i got some wine bottle stoppers wine bottle cork things no this is not for you then i got an echo dot and alexa i swore for the longest time that i would never get one of these in my house which is so stupid because i'm like it's creepy it listens to you but like here i am with a smart tv a laptop a iphone you know like it's all listening to us all the time and i mean who cares and it's just like so convenient to be able to play music and you can like just ask it whatever you want so if you want to look something up or you know and you can't like get to your phone you just want like a quick answer you can literally just talk to it you can have it set a timer for you i know i will get a lot of use out of it and it'll be enjoyable for me and then also be really good whenever i have company and then i just got some more velvet hangers that's everything i'm gonna go put all this stuff away and then get this set up most satisfying thing ever i love this okay i think i got it all set up let's see if it works. Alexa, play music. Sure, here's Apple Music. Alexa, play the newest episode of Crime Junkie podcast. Getting Crime Junkie from Apple Podcasts. Here's Wanted, Justice for Hassani Campbell and Tiana Kirchner. These are the stories of Hassani Campbell and Tiana Kirchner. <laughs> It's 1.30 now. My salon meeting is at 4, so I still have a couple hours to just hang out. And I decided I'm going to do my friend's hair after the meeting. That way I don't have to, like, rush out of there and I can just take my time and we can just hang out and chill. And maybe I'll, like, bring a bottle of wine over. It's Wednesday. I <laughs> Bitch, I'm so excited. I didn't vlog yesterday. I filmed a like different separate video, which probably is gonna be up before this one, but I refreshed my color so it's looking a little bit darker. I just did a gloss and then I trimmed my face frame. You know how I was saying at the beginning of this vlog, I wanted to chop my hair like all blunt in one length. I'm gonna leave it alone because if I chop it to like here, it's gonna take a while for it to get back to where it's at now. So I'm just gonna leave it until I'm like a thousand percent sure about cutting it. But I figured in the meantime, I would just um, make my face frame a little bit shorter. I feel like it just gives my haircut more shape and I don't know, it was just so like Meh. If you want a tutorial though on how I cut these pieces, I already have a video on that. I will link it down below. So yeah, that's what I did yesterday and then after I finished filming that video, I just went to work. This morning, I've been sitting here doing a bunch of computer work and doing Instagram stuff. Which by the way, if you're not following my hair page, I took a hiatus from it 
while I wasn't doing hair anymore and I was only posting on my personal page. So I have two Instagram pages. I have my hair page and then I have just like my personal Instagram. But my hair page, I now that I'm doing hair again, I started posting on it again and I'm gonna be active on this on a regular basis. Look at that new fresh content. Please go follow my hair page. I would really appreciate it. And I don't like just post pictures of the hair I do. Like I do share a lot of informative stuff that's helpful for both fellow stylists and also just clients. Even if you don't like live in my area and you're you know never gonna be able to come get your hair done by me, but I try to make my page like helpful and worth following for everyone anywhere so yeah but anyway i was doing all of that and then i started editing this vlog and i went to look at the date and i realized oh my god it's november 9th the new season of the crown got released today and i have been waiting for this show to come back for a year and i have it's all i think about i love this show so much i can't even explain it to you i'm sitting over here killing time it's 10 47 right now and i have been sitting here for the last several hours i mean being productive and getting stuff done as i should but i'm like my show that i've been waiting for all year is out and i'm not watching it what am i doing oh my god i'm gonna give myself two episodes two hours of watching and then i'm gonna turn it off and go get ready for work because the editing can wait bitch i'm sorry <laughs> I ended up watching three episodes, but it ended up being fine because I didn't need a long time to get ready. So here's what I'm wearing, super casual, and I realize it's like a little bit Princess Diana-esque. The sweatshirt is from H&M. It's just like a regular crew neck sweatshirt. And then I'm wearing a plain turtleneck tank underneath. Same jeans I was wearing yesterday from Abercrombie. And then I'm not sure what shoes I'm gonna wear yet. I think I'm gonna either do these slip-on sneakers from H&M or Ugg boots. Well, fake Uggs. These ones that I have that I think I got them from TJ Maxx. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear these because they're so warm and comfy. They're from Minnetonka. It's just like a chilly, gloomy day. I just wanna be warm and cozy. But yeah, I'm just gonna go work my usual front desk shift. I'll probably be there till about eight o'clock, maybe a little bit later than that. Before I go though, I need to hydrate. Since yesterday, I've just had this like annoying on and off dull headache. Like it's not super intense, but it's just like right here. I know I haven't been drinking enough water. Too much coffee, not enough water. So I'm taking Excedrin just for like a more immediate relief. But I'm gonna bring liquid IV with me and I'm gonna drink this to actually hydrate to like hopefully fix the problem. I love Liquid IV, it's not sponsored by them. I do have a discount code, which I'll link in the description because I love this stuff, but it's kind of pricey. So definitely use the discount code if you want to get it. But yeah, you just add it to water and it's supposed to hydrate you faster. I'll also drink coconut water. I really love coconut water if I'm super dehydrated, but I don't have any coconut water at the moment. But I just can't wait to get back home to keep watching The Crown. It's getting so good. I don't know, I like, I really don't care about the royal family. Like I was never one of those people that was like, oh my God, Prince William. But I just, I find history very fascinating. So it feels almost like I'm watching a documentary kind of, but like the acting is just so good. And I just find it, it like, it, it, I get a kick out of like, how good the hair and makeup is and the wardrobe. It's really interesting to me, not even just like the inner workings of like their personal drama. Like, I mean, I do find that like pretty entertaining, but also just to see like historical events and things that like were in the news and were like a big deal. It's a show I did not expect to be into, 
but it is like one of my favorite shows. Anyway, I have to leave soon. I will see you later. Professional men and women of today. I am about to leave for work. Sorry that I didn't vlog anything earlier today. I watched The Crown, <laughs> like first thing when I got up this morning. I have three episodes left of the season and I just did a little bit of straightening up in the apartment, unloaded clean dishes out of the dishwasher, put dirty dishes in, did a couple loads of laundry. Last load is in the dryer right now. I have the rest of it on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have to put that away when I get home tonight. Hopefully I'll actually put it away and not just like shift it over to the side and sleep under all of it. Don't act like you've never done it. And then I went grocery shopping because I just needed a couple things. My brother is actually coming into town, I'm pretty sure anyway. It was kind of like a last minute thing. I'm sure we'll probably like go out to eat, but I just wanted to make sure I had like some basic things like half and half or coffee in the morning and eggs. My fridge was literally empty. All I had was water and some lettuce. But yeah, it's another gloomy day, although today's even worse than yesterday because it's actually raining today and it's super, super humid and just blah. Let me show you my outfit. I have, I don't know how I feel about it. Also, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna flat iron these pieces. Uh, uh, yeah, they're just like, <laughs> when I went out to the store earlier, my hair got a tiny bit wet, and now the ends of my hair are trying to like curl up, and this is just like insane, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm wearing a long sleeve bodysuit, which I just realized has a freaking hole that's annoying. And then these Lee overalls I've had for a few years now. I want to say I got them from Urban Outfitters maybe online, but they're nice because they have a little bit of stretch to them. And then I'm wearing these rain booties that I don't even know the brand. I just, I got them at TJ Maxx. I don't know. I love the look of overalls. It's very 90s, but then also sometimes I just feel like an oversized toddler when I wear them. Whatever. I'm already dressed. I'm committed. A little bit of dry shampoo. I know I already said it yesterday. Sorry if it's annoying. This season of The Crown is so good so far. As soon as I got home from work yesterday, I put it on, watched an episode, and uh, that's exactly what I plan to do tonight when I get home. And my skin has been doing so much better. I can't remember if I talked about it in this vlog or if it was just in my last one, but I was just, I don't know, for like the last month or so, it wasn't doing so great. I kept getting breakouts, I feel like it's starting to look good again. And I've been getting compliments, like my coworkers, two separate girls have asked me, what do you use on your skin? What's your skincare routine? Your skin looks really good. And I'm like, thank you. So that's a good sign, but I haven't been wearing makeup this entire week. So I think Maybe my skin just needs that break. So again, I'm not gonna wear makeup tonight. I'm gonna go bare face and just let it breathe. I feel like with the eyelash extensions, although they desperately need to be filled, um, I have a fill coming up on Monday. With the lash extensions and like having my brows tinted, I feel like I can get away without putting makeup on, you know? That's why I love doing these kinds of things, but yeah. I am going to take Benny out for a quick walk and then head to work. I'm going to be working pretty late again tonight, so I probably won't end up vlogging anything later anyway. And then, like I said, my brother is coming into town tomorrow, so I'm just going to start a new vlog tomorrow. So that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to Ana Luisa, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.